Hi guys, Top Hops here, and in today's video, YouTube's put up a bunch more silhouettes on their website, so let's try to figure out who they are, and let's get started. Now, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I probably already know what half of the silhouettes are, but with them being on the website now, it probably means that they're going to be coming sometime soon. So guys, here we are on the website here, and in case you guys are wondering, I did order the Dan TDM as well as the Motivational Lizard, and the Motivational Lizard was live shipping, so mine should be here within the next couple weeks. So guys, let's scroll down to the coming soon section and find out what is new here, and you guys can see there is some really great stuff coming soon, like the Spanish YouTubers, as well as Kevin the Penguin, which is Tim the Tatman's Penguin, and there are three different plush coming for that one. We've got Shrek and Donkey, which I'm definitely going to be getting, as well as the Crumb plush. Now, I don't actually know too much about Crumb, so I might do a little bit more research into who it is. I know they play Minecraft, but that's pretty much all I know. And now, these silhouettes here, guys, we've already seen with the Cup Souls, Belle Delphine, Terrorizer, Godzilla, and then here is the new ones, and this is what I'm super pumped about. So, let's go through these one at a time here, guys, just to try to figure them out, and this one I do already know, or at least I think I know. This one here, I believe to be the Crank Game Plays plush, because there is that gear there, which is kind of part of his logo. And YouTube's have has done something with him in the past with an actual figure, so I feel like this totally makes sense. Plus, it kind of looks like his hair, and I could totally see it being that yellow shirt with the blue pants like it was in his original figure. But it's funny, though, guys. If he didn't have that gear there as the emoji, I don't think I would have known it was Crank Gameplays at all. And then, guys, after Crank Gameplays, we have this one right here, which I am so pumped about. And this one is, of course, Cheem's Bonking. Bonking? I guess we'll call it that. And now, if you guys can't tell, that is definitely the original Cheem's one holding the baseball bat and then the meme where he's been bonked on the head and I think that this is such a funny one and it seems like this is actually going to be a two-pack. So that is definitely cool and I'm so excited for this one to come out and I feel like it's probably going to be coming soon and it is neat because the Cheem's figure sold out as well as the plush so now we're finally getting I guess a V2 from the original figure. And I'm guessing this emoji is inferencing that somebody had to go to the type of jail that would warrant a bonk on the head. I'm not going to say what it is because you know. And then guys the third one that we have here is one that I believe to be the Lemanberg Wilbur, and I think that's probably what it's going to be with the flag in the background, as well as I think that's a potion in his hand, and it seems like there's fire in the background. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is very similar to the concept art that actually won the contest to have their figure created, so I'm guessing that's probably what it is. And then for this one, it's kind of funny. They didn't actually put an emoji. They just put an 07 because he's probably saluting in the figure, if I were to guess. And now guys, after Wilbur, we've got this one right here, which of course is going to be Joe from Family Guy. And it seems like there's going to be a whole wave of Family Guy figures coming out. So this one is of course him with the baseball bat on his wheelchair. Pretty cool. And in case you guys are wondering, this figure here is going to have the normal eyes, not the U2's ones. Because if you guys look at the top here, you can see that he does have the eyelids. Now maybe the pupils are going to be U2's eyes, but I don't think it will be because we did see a concept or at least like a 3D rendering of it that YouTube's put up a little while ago and it seems like he's going to have just normal eyes. Very similar to how they did the Bob's Burgers set, which I'm definitely okay with because I did get the entire Bob's Burgers line and it really does look great. And then for this one here, of course, he has the angry emoji just because he is angry in the figure, so it totally makes sense. And then guys, after Joe, we've got this one right here, which actually has two swords as the emoji, and this one here is from one of the brand new anime lines that they're going to be doing, which is Attack on Titan. And this one, if you guys haven't seen the show, is going to be Levy, one of the main characters, and this is actually such a cool figure and we did see a 3D rendering of it a little while ago so if you guys want to check that out there it is right there and this really does look like a nice YouTube and I'm so excited to see the entire line and if I'm going to be honest with you guys I don't really know much about Attack on Titan because I haven't seen the show but now that they are coming out with YouTube's I might want to watch some of it plus I do have a Funko Pop around here somewhere it is actually the Colossal Titan and that one really looks great so maybe yeah, I'll probably watch some of it and now after Levy here is a figure that none of us really know anything about but I'm going to kind of break it down a little bit so maybe we can get something out of it. Here on the right side it looks like it's a diamond. Then I also noticed some sort of box with a character on the shoulder and then if you look here it seems like there's a mask on the face. So I was thinking, I don't know if this is right but possibly a Dream V2? I could be completely wrong but please give me your guesses in the comment section below. Like yeah guys this one seriously is baffling me and I did notice this on the pants here that the cuffs are rolled up so maybe that means something or maybe it's something else on the cuffs. I'm not 100% sure 
sure. But then also the emoji is a diamond, maybe just because you can definitely see a diamond on the figure. So anyways, like I said, if you guys have any guesses, please let me know in the comment section below. Then after this one, we do have a couple more. This one, okay, now this one, I'm a thousand percent gonna be getting. And I think that the emoji that they picked for this one was definitely perfect. It reminds me of the two fingers going together like this. I don't exactly know what you'd call it, but the dead meme art print that they did a little while ago was based off of that as well. Not this figure specifically, just the emoji with the two fingers. And if you guys are trying to figure out what this is, people are saying that this one is going to be Dadza. And if you guys don't know who Dadza is, it's actually Phil's up, but because he's a lot older than everybody else in the Dream SMP, they kind of call them their dad. So if you look around the figure, you can see a lot of different ones that you probably recognize. Like at the top here, we have Technoblade. Then on the left side here, we've got Wilbur with his guitar. On the right side there, we've got Fundy. Under him, we have, I believe that's Rambo with his book and crown. And then on the left side there, I'm not really sure. Could be Tommy if I were to guess, it's probably him. And then of course guys, the giant figure in the middle is Filza and it really does look great. And also there was a concept that was made a little while ago and that's what this is based off of right here. And if I can find it, I'll pop it on the screen because it really does look great. And you can probably see in the concept versus the silhouette that some of the characters have changed. And that's probably because some of the people that they put there don't have U2s or maybe just aren't working with U2s at the moment. That's probably what it is. Plus I feel like these guys make a lot more sense than some of the ones that they put on the original concept so I'm so excited that they're gonna be coming out with this which is like six U2s put together and then guys the last one that we have to talk about here is this right here and this is another attack on Titan figure which I believe to be the colossal Titan with the wall underneath him or maybe not so much underneath him more like he's so big he's walking and trying to climb above it and it really does look neat and this is also one that we saw a little while ago and if I can find it again I'll pop it on the screen there are a lot of concepts that I need to find for this video but it's definitely worth it to show you guys what is coming soon and well guys, there you go. That is all of the new silhouettes that U2's put up on their website and please let me know in the comment section below what is the one that you guys are most excited about because for me, it's probably going to be Dadza as well as that Bonk Cheems. And that's pretty much everything for today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more U2's content like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been another episode of Top Ops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bed, dumper, drop a low. That pot in the car, pretending I got all the eyes on me. Got a bad baby, and she's in the pit.